With Minnesota schools shut down, that affects the student athletes who we cover on a regular basis here at CCX Sports. I talked to Eric Martins from the Minnesota State High School League Monday afternoon to get the latest update. So we're right now in a, a suspended time frame. Our member schools, we know that many of them are closed already today and they're moving toward a governor's required closure from Wednesday the 18th on to Friday the 27th. And so we've got a, a 10 day period or eight school days where all schools, public and charter are gonna be closed and our privates and, and so on are likely gonna be following suit with that. And so during that time, we are suspending the season in terms of participation in practices and uh, any scrimmages, contests, all of that is going to be suspended until at least April 6th. We're anticipating that there's going to continue to be restrictions going forward. And so we're, we're working right now to provide guidance for our member schools around what they can and can't do beyond the 27th of March. It's hard to look too far in the future because things change by the hour, by the day. For spring sports, would there be a, a minimum number of games that would need to be required for you to be able to hold state high school league tournaments, assuming, again, that happens in, in May and June? Well, I think our primary focus is always going to be providing some experience if we can. And so that's really going to come down to what timelines look like. And so we're less concerned about running state tournaments as we are about providing opportunities within our member schools. Can we have practices? Can we have scrimmages? Can we get to a point of having contests? But that really revolves around whether or not students are going to be able to be in schools and be able to group, be grouped together. Uh, we've seen restrictions again today that's lessening the numbers in, in groups. And, and so that has implications for us. But first and foremost, we're an education based entity and so our sports and activities really revolve around the fact that our students need to be connected and involved in their school and then from there then they can start taking part in the in the experiences and the programs that we offer. What are the biggest concerns you're hearing from your member schools? I think our schools just are looking for direction. It's, it's a completely new situation they've never uh, dealt with before, and so what can we do? What can't we do? What does it look like? Uh, the latest questions have really come around this next time period where we're going to have closed schools, and, and can our coaches be in contact with our student athletes, and can they suggest workouts for them or, or keep them engaged to some level in some kind of individual practice? And we're hearing things from CDC around, you know, we want people to remain active, but we have to limit that, that contact or that grouping up that happens. And so, uh, we're going to work with our member schools to provide some direction around that that allow them to continue to have uh, some level of activity going forward but eliminate the face-to-face -face, the group practice kind of things as, as we've had in the past and so we just continue to develop it as we go based on the most current information that we have right now last week things changed a lot day by day and looking back would you have done anything differently with the information you had at the, at the time I think we can always be really critical of ourselves and certainly of others and, and we've really tried to stay away from that. We really have been forward looking and saying, so given what we know, how do we move forward with it? I think, I think what's important is that we've always kept our student athletes and student participants at the core of our decision making. What is it that we can provide? What opportunities can we give them? within what's reasonable given the information that's out there as things tr you know as you said transpired really quickly and things changing you know in the minute in the hour uh, we needed to be really responsive and try and address that uh, but we know how much time and how connected these students are to their particular activity talk specifically about girls basketball boys basketball adapted floor hockey this past weekend they were all impacted really personally with that and and with that means that their coaches and their families too um, we got a lot of communication that says please if, if at all possible, can we do something different? Can we still just have a game? What does that look like? And so we know that's really important and those decisions are really hard. Um, but at the same time, our schools need decisions to be made and, uh, and we continue to make them with the, the greater good, the, the community health aspect really is a priority as we're talking about things. Find more prep sports games and highlights at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.